sorry detective is here. Firstly, I just want to say, I will be blurring out my face. I'll probably go into stories another time, but let's just say you can run into people in crazy situations and they might know you're a PI one year on surveillance and things like that. And yeah, I'll go into it in more detail, but look, it's better for, easier for me, easier for me to, be able to talk to you. Obviously, if I meet the client or I meet them in person, if they want that, most of the time it's over the telephone. But yeah, on with it. I'm a private investigator. I only do surveillance. My clients are generally relate, relationship problems only. This could be anything from cheating to background checks. Just get an idea who you're either with or what's going on. Simple surveillance. Uh, I'm actually on surveillance right now. Just taking it. Just waiting for the person just to get dropped off. So I've been in the PI world for a few years now. I just really, I wouldn't like to say enjoyed, but um, got the most satisfaction out of dealing with people who are cheating or, yeah, generally just people who are cheating. And I saw the pain, um, heard the pain, felt the pain of the people who were going through it. I ended up realizing that I wanted to help these people. They had nowhere else to turn. A lot of the time, you don't even want to tell your best friend exactly, because you just, you know, whether you're embarrassed or just don't want to share something so personal with someone else. Coming to a private investigator, you know, a lot of, I haven't actually met many private investigators. The kind of investigator I am is, I will advise all sorts of options and we won't just go straight to surveillance or most of the time, you know, we, we will go through the surveillance pro idea and then take it from there, really. You can plan so much for surveillance, but anything can happen, so... No, but I like to think that I'll give some good advice. You know, once we go through what's actually happened, and if I obviously get the news that you you dread that's coming, you know, I'll go through that delicately, provide you with all the evidence, um, photographic video, and it will be reported so you can use this information. I guess the the main thing is, you know, where you go from there, and you know, hopefully I can help you with that. And because I feel a lot of the time you just move on to the next case, and I think. That support afterwards is so important it's crucial but yeah it just means it means so much more for me that i can help someone who's in, in distress and in, in a horrible situation but my clients cases range from very very wealthy and very concerned about where they're going to be what they're going to be left with and what they need you know to cure their life if they do leave their partner you know sometimes the kids involved some you know there's there's so many factors to it or separate, separations, you know, coming up to the divorce hearing, you know, just any any information they might need. And then also, you know, online dating, if you've met someone, you just want to know exactly who they are before you fully commit to them. You know, I get a few clients who obviously from these sugar daddy, sugar mommy kind of websites that they just want to check the person out. They realize that they're with it for the money, but they need to get the full understanding because there's been some horror cases that I've come across. And to be honest, you can tell me anything. So I keep saying I can pretty much guarantee I've heard everything. You hear something new, but it's just, that's where I'm the professional in this and I need to know everything for me to be able to get you exactly what you're looking for. But yeah, let's, um, let's put up a few, vid few videos, going through my techniques and things like that. Just on my way to surveillance now, just get in position. Once I found the position, I'll just check back in with you guys. And uh, yeah, if you need any help, you can email me. Um, just, you know, more than happy for a chat. Obviously, any advice I give is free. Okay, so that didn't go to plan. This person was meant to be coming to this pub near to their house. I was waiting on the corner, just, out, just inside the parking, but I could see towards his house and up the road as well with an easy exit out of where I was. I'm now following that person and we shall see where it goes. Right, so person drove about 15 minutes north of where we were, gone up the uh, sort of side road. Hang on. person just came out to the car now. Looks like he was grabbing cigarettes, I think, and a jacket. Gone back inside.
Right, the boat just got in the car. I'm gonna end this now. Yeah, so keep a lookout for my videos. Subscribe if you want to see more. Do as many videos as I can. I'll do some surveillance and obviously go through some scenarios and ways you can hopefully help you. But yeah, I shall see you later.